Okay, Marcia. All right. <laughs> hello, 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 my happy quilters, and welcome to another <clears throat> edition of Marcia and Joy Show coming at you live from Pine Needles Quilt and Sew in Rochester, Minnesota. We missed you last week. We did. We had a fun time in Chicago, though. We were at Bernina for a little bit, and it was pretty fun. And the tulips are blooming in Chicago. Oh, yeah. It was beautiful. The, it was gorgeous. There's of them in the medians and stuff. Really, really pretty. It was. I have 12 tulips. 12 blooming. tulips? Mm -hmm. Tom counted them for me. Okay. I said I, I knew the tulips were blooming. I didn't know how many. But he said, Mine well, are not yet. Mine are only this them. big. Yeah, they're not very tall, but they are do have blooms on them. So. Excellent. That's Excellent. pretty fun. That was pretty fun. So, um... Lovely, lovely May. Yes, it's time my to plant favorite gardens. Month. We've kind of noticed just a little bit. I mean, there's a lot of you in here, but not quite as much traffic in the store because I think people are, I think you all, quilters, are doing your summer quilting with a little bit of getting stuff in the landscapes done and maybe mowing for the first time, which is fun. I was, I worked at home yesterday, some part of the day, and then I went outside and enjoyed. It's so outside. beautiful. It really is. So, anyways, I love May. I love the month of May. And Joy. Yes. <laughs> what do you call a bee that's born in May? What do you call a bee that's born in May? Maybe. Oh, man. Maybe. Maybe. That is a groaner for <laughs> real. I know. Wait till you see this one. Hear it. What did Spring say when it was in trouble? What did the spring say when it was in trouble? I don't know. Mayday, Mayday! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> my birthday's in May, so I celebrate all month. I love every day oh of May. Oh, my gosh. It is fun. So speaking of May and beautiful flowers in springtime, we have this lovely quilt behind us. And this is made by our own Lisa. And I will tell you what. What is that? Two and a half inch squares. Actually, it's a jelly rolls. Right. What do you want to Well, this open is, it? it has, um, this is from in the beginning. So there's one, two, three, four, five jelly rolls in here. And the border fabric, I think they can see it. Kind not of, sort really. of, not it's really. Too, the quilt is huge. It is. Actually. Anyways, it's got a beautiful floral border on it. And then also the binding and I, the book. I was going to take the border out because yeah, it's go so ahead. pretty. Let's do it. Let's do it. <clears throat> because... That's the part you can't see, and, and look at this pretty print, and it's, it's what do you call it, lined, it, you know, where to cut. A so it has print. this pretty, yes. pretty flower all around, and then look at this gorgeous green. That's the binding. And, yes. She doesn't have it on yet. But anyways, it's out of this new book, and we did a quilt similar to this. Actually, Lisa did it when we were over way over right. on the other side. And um, in the beginning fabrics, this is a new book, and it comes, the kit comes with this book, and so you can see right here is the quilt, but it has other patterns in here as well. And while it is featuring that line of fabric, you could certainly make a lot of these with different, different kinds of fabrics. And those trip around the world quilts are hot, hot, hot. They right really now. are. People are loving them. So lots of different projects in the book. So there were some of you on Facebook where they were asking for the, this kit. So it's in, if you want to tell them how to shop. I do. So on our website at pnqs.net, you are going to click on the shop uh, link and you will find a bunch of different pictures. But the one you're looking for for today's things is our Wednesday live picture. And when you click there, we have organized everything we're talking about in that area. Plus, if you have questions, you can put them in the comment area as well. So these strip rolls from in the beginning, there's 26 in each strip, and it takes five of these. So all of this is, I believe, these are two and a half. Of course, they're two and a half inch. And those squares. And Lisa um, made that quilt. And I will tell you what, her back squares, she pressed all, oh the, my goodness. all the seams open, and it was just as beautiful as the front. So They were a work of art. Beautiful, beautiful quilt. And all one piece, except the borders. Right. Two and a half inch squares. I know. It's a lot. Period. I can't remember how she put that together. Was it in, was it strip quilting? I think it was. 
Well, look at the graph. So it. Yes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. See, look at they sew. You sew them all in one, in one like, strip, repeat, and then cross cut, and right. then you shift. So it's not like you are sewing together all of those squares. You are actually strip piecing, and she said the instructions were quite good. So, right. Which saves a lot of time. It does. The strip piecing. Okay, the new candle scent, and we've got a whole bunch coming. We don't have a lot of these in the store, but we're featuring this month. It's called Banana Sunset, and these are really yummy, nummy. I was, just trying, to, I was trying to smell it. It is really yummy. Oh. Even if you don't like bananas, it's good. Pina colada, yeah, a pina colada beach. Oh, so beautiful summer banana smells. Banana Sunset, so we got a whole bunch of those on the way to us. The, um, oh, yeah, well, hello, new fabrics. Absolutely new fabric. I cannot believe it's this season already, uh, but, I know. Yeah, but how fun is that? We got a couple of new Halloween lines <clears throat> in already, and there's some more coming. So this is Moda. This is by Sweet Fire Road. It is called Spellbound. All right. Very, very lovely fabrics. Do you want to take a closer look? Let's take a closer look. Maybe. There we go. Here we go. <clears throat> so we have um, just a just a tossed, well, no, it is a directional print um, with cats and candlesticks and brooms and the cauldron and pumpkins and poison and everything. Just a tone on tone. This is stars in dots, white on white. Here we have moons, half moons. The man in the moon is in there. And some fun little pumpkins. What I love about this particular line is everything is um, scaled down a little bit. Right. It's not big. <clears throat> this Twinkling Stars, I just love this one too. We've got the traditional stripe. I like that the orange is a softer, um, just warm, toasty. It's a different, it's not orange-orange. Right. Um, Floral with leaves. This got a little owl with scroll work all around him. This is another pumpkin. So you can see the jack lanterns are over here with the pumpkins are a little smaller. This is a little bigger. I love these stripes in quilts and borders. Here's another multicolored pumpkin with an orange background. We talked about these ghost pumpkins, didn't we, last time? We did. There's another quarter moon on an orange background. Here is this main print that we had in white. Now we've got it over here in orange. Love the twinkling stars. So many possibilities. There it is, and look at this one with the orange background, the little florals. Are those like hollyhocks or? There's actually a flower that only bl blooms at night. For the night. Is it a moonflower? It is a moonflower. Good guess. <laughs> and here's another one of the jack-o'-lanterns. So we had the jack-o'-lanterns on white over here. It's kind of on a burnt, rusty color here. The half moons on the rust. Here is this on the bright orange, and this is on the rusty color. Love the pumpkins on black. But those are the jack o'-lanterns. That is very, very beautiful. Yep, and the twinkling on black, and then we're gonna go here. Whoa, I like these too. Oh, wow, Multi what a striking color combination. I know, multicolored pumpkins. Here's another stripe for us. The moonflower, there's little moons in there too. Um, tone on tone, the black, and here is the main print again huh. with a black background. The owl with the scroll work, and again, the moons, the half moons on black. And that is that. Aren't those fun? They're beautiful. Absolutely love this. Little different shading. Um, not so in your face orange. Love it. Not that That's I don't like gorgeous. in your face orange. Right, but here we have the layer cake, the charm squares, the little gums, and of course the jelly roll. You'll find it all here. Plus, we have all of these on bolts as well. Just that would in. be a good jelly roll for our searcher our searcher class with the for log the cabin. Log cabin, it mm -hmm. would absolutely beautiful, beautiful. So spellbound. Um, we have 
the Littles Club coming up soon, and this is Joy. This is something that she's been wanting to do for years. We've talked <laughs> about it, and yep. there's just been so much going on all the time, so here it is. All right, so Littles to me is things that are two inches or less, maybe even two and a half inches or less, and it takes a little bit different approach to the piecing, and I think first we were going to talk about some different books so like the so charming these are the little tchotchkes as you as you will that you can just tuck around your house so these are just the books the so charming are little bits and what's great is you can a lot of times work with just a charm square uh, this to cut up is all made with five inch charms right so yep. hence that it's charming but also the simple double dip books by Kim Deal. These are just so fun. It allows you to play with lots of little bits of color in a small area, but it just makes a cozy little presentation on your table, tucking out of a basket, whatever you might have. And we do have Kim Deal fabrics in the store right at the moment. Right. And the little quilts, the little quilts are also very good for um, scrap busting as well right and do we want to talk about the tools or do we want to go to this class sample let's talk about the class and then you can go to the tools okay so well, for this the, is club isn't it this yes is the little club the little club this so this is the one i chose first it isn't as little as some that we might have but it is a little project because it's under two feet across and square but super easy i'll introduce you to the use of cutting with specialty rulers to make perfect stars and um, also the rulers. So for the class, we actually have this all kitted up with a pattern. And I'll walk you through step by step for how to be successful creating this project. And then this, the next one is all bright, fun summers, but it's still in little pieces on my sewing desk. So every month she'll, <clears throat> she's going to feature a different littles quilt. And I think that the class registration includes the kit, doesn't it? It does, yes. And then there are some favorite tools. and. You know, when we do big pieces, we have the big rulers, and there's still definitely a place for those, but I find working with these little size rulers, that one's a little two and a half inch uh, ruler, which is very nice, because it easily um, crosses over the layer cake or the charm square. And then we have little uh, squares, which are really nice for <clears throat> if we need to square up, depending on the technique, but also, if you're trimming something to a square from a two and a half inch strip, these little two and a half, three and a half, four and a half inch squares, they just make more sense than hanging onto a huge ruler. Well, and I've found that oftentimes when you're working with little things, you're not, you don't have a great big um, cutting mat. Right. So if you use those big rulers, you almost have to have a big cutting mat, and a lot of the cutting you can do right next to your sewing room. I'll be surprised. I'm surprised how often I use this this little the little two and a half yes. inch. Yes. Isn't that sweet? Yeah, it is. A, it's a good. So these little rulers are great too, for your. And stash. the Creative Grids do have little non-slip type surfaces on the back. However, some of you still prefer to have a little bit more and we have these really adorable no slip grip hearts and they just peel off and stick on the back if you want to have a little extra non-slip on the back without adding bulk but these little heart shapes are adorable and i love them so there's those and then this is i can't even marcia so I know. cute so cute look at this cut this little wool mat it's only $4.99. Everyone needs one in their sewing room, whether you use it or not. Uh, do you know but, what Susie told me? <laughs> what? She said, do you know what I use mine for? I what? Should, a coaster. Ah, oh, well, that would make a great <laughs> coaster. I didn't think of that. Now yeah. I need two, Marsha. Yeah, Thanks you very much. I know. These are fun. Really but fun sometimes to have. when you lay stuff out, having a little wool mat is nice because then it doesn't go floofing away. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not just for pressing, but those little... Right. And if you have the... Yeah. Sometimes um, these are great to use just for when you're doing small appliques and you mm -hmm. only want to press down a little bit of it. So right. Kind of the fun. The little one. So why don't you do this? We kind of for we oh. blew past because it was May. Because I had the jokes on my mind. Right. Yeah. So be sure to you like, comment, and share <laughs> for a chance to win a ten dollars certificate. We give away three each week, 
two for um, the drawings from your comments and then one will be for our lucky trivia winner so you want to be sure you stay tuned and we announce those in our weekly email so be sure you open that up and read so you find out if your winner yep. uh, we'll have them at the counter for you when you so come in we don't choose until Friday night because we know that a lot of you are working just like we are exactly and this is even though our hearts work, identify you know. with the outside that's right um <laughs> so Today. then you'll want to look on saturday morning's email to see if you're a lucky winner on some of that this one edit. we should have showed that at the same time as we were i was going to say it goes more with this quilt behind us right. rather than the littles that's why i didn't feature it with the littles i didn't want you to get confused but this is quilt the rainbows and with us coming out of winter all this gorgeous color just is it's just out there for us to be hungry and we have lots of colorful fabrics and quilts in our store right now and um, and you know the value of the books, one on the front is gorgeous it really is these are 10 different quilts in here I'll just go really and it's fast. probably what it's $27 yeah, so it's I, just a little more than right 250 a pattern because patterns cheap. now are between 10 and 12 dollars a single one so I always like to buy the books when I can because you get more bang for your buck and they fit on your bookshelf nicely they I do. love 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 this book I love the quilt right on the front and look at that yellow one I mean so hello pretty. sunshine right there yep very pretty okay I need to put it away now okay um, oh, and then I was going to talk about the, this signature scraps pattern because next time, this is just a little speak, sneak peek for next time. Next time behind here, we're going to have the most beautiful quilt that was made by Joy here. Do you want to see it or is that for next week? No, they've got it on there. They can, they can look at it. It's on, oh, whoa, you've got it on there. I know. Our Anyways, cameras we're are not feature. centered or focused, but I got the picture she, okay. <laughs> because she, you told me. <laughs> she did hers out of blues, and it is gorgeous. And I was going to show it today, but I decided not to because I didn't want to steal any of the thunder oh, from this Oh, no, one. you have to have this one. So next week, we're going to talk about this one. This is a K England pattern. And um, guess what? We'll let it out here. I'm going to announce what? it in a couple weeks. But... She's coming. She's coming to find me. I know. I was so excited to have so, her come again. So um, I'll just tell you all first that here on the live is um, our grand opening um, for our new long arm center and the expansion that we did back in January. We're going to celebrate the open house and the grand opening of that the first weekend of October. The reason we're doing that is because we've got some special folks from Bernina coming and also Kay is coming and she will be doing a workshop. So the grand opening, kind of the celebration and the, the, the big splash we'll be having in the classroom will be on Friday, followed by, and she'll be here, followed by Saturday and Sunday, a retreat in the classroom. And it's for, not that quilt. It's not this quilt. Um, for uh, lucky, however many we can fit in there. Right. So You don't want to miss it. Like, if you <clears throat> ever considered, I want to go see Kay, this is the year. Do it. Don't wait. Because right. it's going to fill fast this fun Kate Yep, event. I think it is. So, yeah, I'm very excited about that. Speaking about more littles. I know. These are so charming. See what I did? They're so oh, charming. they are. These are made with mini charms. A Nan <laughs> Nantucket charm bag. This was extremely popular the last time that Kendra had this class. And so we are offering it again, I think in a couple weeks or next week, I can't remember. There's still two spots left for this one. Um, totally fun. And I think she said you get the you get it done. So That's... it's made with a mini charm. And um, then like we have some new fun charms um, that I think they get a charm too. I can't remember. You have to ask Kendra for Read sure. Read the website Read because the that's, that's where we wrote it. Don't she go by it. what I say because it might not be right. <laughs> but totally Either way, cute. we have charms available. Absolutely. So that's what's coming next. And I don't know if this is the one kit she's featuring. And you know, if you have some sewing experience, you don't have to be really experienced come to class because this is a great little learning tool the zipper would be a new construction but here at pine needles we believe in easy zipper construction she forgot to put these on yeah but she They're just tucked in it in there it's pretty cute well see 
Nobody's perfect. Sometimes you lose that piece in your sewing room. There just you do. saying. But they're both in there. So she found them. The tabs. Later. Remember that right. time when I lost a whole row of my quilt behind my sewing machine? Okay, truth. I lost four squares of that nine patch <laughs> the, underneath my sewing. The big sewing, blue one? And I had to make them again. And I thought, how did I do this? I counted them twice and I made sure because, you know, there's a 60 some pieces per square. I wasn't going to make more than I had to. But did I you made them? them all. Yes, after I had the four new ones made, then I found them underneath because I dropped my something. I dropped my bobbin behind my sewing machine. So then I had to get down on my hands and knees. There's the blocks. And there's the blocks. And I went, oh. I've got done that to be kidding me. More than once, more but than twice, more than three times. My husband says if you really enjoy creating quilts, ripping it out just gives you the opportunity to enjoy it twice. Not so no. much. <laughs> don't agree with I don't agree with Todd on that one, not at all. <laughs> He's just trying to cheer me up. <laughs> well, that, nice. that would be a good comment, uh, area. What do you think? Same seam ripping is it is a twice enjoyment or is it not, not so much. half as much fun. No, no, not even <laughs> half. It's just a burden to me. I, oh, I hate ripping. Anyways, um, also. And, and we don't often, either of us know. All of you know that we do long arm quilting, customer quilting here. And our quilting includes the batting and the thread. Mm -hmm. And it's done on our Qmatic machines. And we have seen a plethora of beautiful t-shirt quilts come through. Oh, it is my, the yes. season for graduation. So we wanted to feature a couple of books that we have. Um, or you can just do whatever you want. But these are two kind of fun books um, for t-shirt quilts. And really, it's not Can't rocket really science. I know I'm looking at this side because I wanted to see what these are. Marsha and I just kind of wing it. That is the truth. But there Women are girls. ideas in here. But one thing you do need or should have is the shape flex. Mm -hmm. That is important to go in the back of the t-shirts uh, so that they don't get all It stabilizes stretchy. them because t-shirts are all made out of knit. And they roll up and curl up and they right. do all sorts of things they shouldn't. So if you um, put that on the back, and it's a woven product and it's iron-on, I have used it for years and years and years, and it does. It stays on there. It doesn't bunch up. Um, right. It doesn't shrink when you wash it or anything like that. Because it is a 100% cotton um, woven. It's right. not tight, tightly woven. Tightly woven. And it doesn't add bulk to your no. quilt. It just adds stability because t-shirt knit the t can be a little bit especially fussy. on some of those. It reinforces some of those ones that are very well loved and might have. A uh, hole or two in them. It just mm -hmm. adds some more. On the Don't back know of what those you're two. talking about there, <laughs> Marcia. So, anyways, t-shirt quilts. That's kind of fun. So, we um, had an amazing time with Betsy Carlson last week. Oh we my goodness! Did. It was an amazing event, and we got some lots of new um, long arm owners, and we're so happy for them. Um, but we also have the Minnesota Quilt Show coming up. We do. It's coming about up in a June. month from now, a little over a month. Yeah, right. So what we did is we pre-ordered machines for the event with Betsy, and we also pre-ordered the machines um, for the for the show. Right. Plus a couple extras. Yeah. <laughs> this room is. Shh. Here's the <laughs> thing. Here's the thing. When you decide you want a long arm, do you really want to wait for it? Right, exactly. We found you'd rather say, well, I brought the SUV, could you load me up? Now, a long arm frame, the 12 foot frame, it's not going to fit <laughs> it's in not the back going of in your, your SUV. SUV. But let me tell you, most of the long arm will fit in there. You just might have to make more than one trip. And we're pretty right. darn good at loading up cars these days. Right. And because we bulk bought truckloads and, tr well, semi load. Right. Huh. We two. also then we say. <laughs> was it three? Two, yeah, I think so. It was a lot. It was a lot. Um, so what we have to offer you then is free shipping because we ordered that much. Um, the shipping, which can be up to five hundred dollars or more, mm -hmm. shipping on the long arms, it will save you the shipping. And we also have bundle bulk pricing. So right. we have. I don't think you're going to find them any cheaper than you'll find them right here. And what's wonderful about this store now is that we have the Long Arm Center, we have the educational opportunities mm -hmm. for everyone, and you can't drag your long arm in. 
No. Nope. But we have how many out there? Probably 12 with the sit downs. Yes. We have one. <laughs> we probably have more than 12. I think we, we have six have on like, frames and so and many on sit downs. Yes. And then we have them in our classroom as well because if you sign up for a free motion quilting class or a ruler work class and you have decided to buy a long arm from us, uh, or if you own a Q series long arm, we want you to be able to experience what you have at home here. You just need to rent the the machine in the classroom, and it's only twenty five dollars. I know it's so, it's easier than hauling yours in. So as far as the education component, and then we we love the classes. People like the community aspect of it too, right. and you can bring come your, come with your friends, and you learn from each other in those some of those classes Absolutely. too, and and the people that own them. So we have invested in that for you because we want you to be able to have all of the education that you need and um, we are adding more and more classes all the time but you cannot we realize you cannot bring your long arms in with you therefore not easily <laughs> we have them here for you to use for right. all of the education classes and so forth very excited about that right plus rent we rent machines and we have i another, mean for you to to right. do your own thing on if you want to try it that way or you just don't have room for one in your home Come on in and use ours. And doesn't our 60-month financing start this Friday again? Ours, yes, so, that's the other thing so we have. We had a very special one just for our event last week, so we got a twofer in May. That didn't happen across the country. We just got really lucky to have right. one last week, right. and then we have a nationwide 60-month financing, and I think it's Friday through Tuesday or Wednesday. Yeah. But we Something can make like it happen that. anytime be before then right. if you come in. Um, so a lot of the the other thing is that some of these are going to the Minnesota Quilt Show, mm -hmm. so there's an opportunity there. You'll want to talk to Joy or Kendra or any of the staff about um, speaking for one of those that we're right. going to open up at the Quilt Show. You can take them home from St. Cloud if that's what the way you would like to do it, or um, we can we'll bring them back. We'll figure out yeah. how to get it to you. Yeah. So how, we have how do you get long it? arm. The month of May and June here at Pine Needles, we're pulling out all the stops. You'll want to stop in and check it out um, if right. that's been on your in your on your radar. Um, we got just some of the best best deals we've ever had. Right. So very excited about that. Well, I think it's time for trivia. Okay, you guys, sharpen up your your mental <laughs> acuity. Absolutely. And here we go. All right, the quilt pattern. Oh, Whoa. where did it go? Hold on a minute. Maybe it's on here. We had just kind of a morning here. This there, morning. I did it. There it is. You did it. <laughs> the quilt pattern um, that's called the love apple derives its name from what common food? I don't know, but I forgot an O. The love apple. Well, that's okay. The quilt pattern, the love apple, derives its name from what common food? I did not have a clue on that one, Marcia. <laughs> I know. I did not have a clue. So, speaking of spring and spring, I want to talk to you while we're waiting for our winner to come through, our the right answer. So this is the one thing I did not do. Sorry, Marcia. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to talk to you about it anyway. Yes. I just don't have a picture. You have to imagine. I had it. a real pretty picture. We'll show it next time anyway. Yes. It's out there a little bit. So we're going to have a spring fling. Um, we haven't done this for, whoa, we got a winner. Too far. <laughs> Oh, Sherry Willen! Yay! Congratulations! She is quick draw. You I are. think she's won like three times since. Of course, we've been doing this a long time too. All right. So the answer on that one is. I have to read this to you because it's kind of interesting. Did you know that answer? I did not. I totally I did, not, did not. It's a tomato. And tomatoes uh, were grown for their beauty rather than for food until the mid 1800s. And I guess I guess tomato because of the tomato pin cushion. Because that was considered good luck. And the love apple, yeah. But I didn't know I it mean, was it was it was a fertility thing. Well, love, fertility. I know, right? Nightshade Stop. plant. Stop. Stop. Okay. <laughs> Brady G. <laughs> Anyway. All right, so we're talking about the spring fling, and it's a full week. It's Monday through Saturday, May 21st um, through 27th. We've got some amazing specials in the store, store-wide. we got some fun, 
think we're going to do the treasure hunt again, which was really fun. You guys are good at the treasure I hunt. I know, they are. And then um, we've got a really fun freebie. So oh. I'm not going to give that away. You saw it, though. It's I know really it is. cute. I, it's, it's, and it's new. It's new and adorable. You don't want to miss out on our spring fling. Absolutely. Okay, so I think the only thing we have left is the auction. Okay. Did we forget anything? Uh, I don't, so. don't think so. Except that I we, did not soon, manage to get that as one As soon as yet. we click off, we'll, remember. we'll say, oh, so we forgot this. You have to give us a moment because the thing that I forgot in addition to the picture was this, the scissors. So true story, this morning everything updated and I didn't update everything in the correct order. So some of my technology really isn't working yet, oh, but that's okay. So what we have is four for I know four, four, four really fun spring, summer, and these have been rolled up so they're a little bit wrinkled, but um, you get the idea. This one is just darling. I and look love at that, that bright backing on it. So that's one. So here's two. And this is I almost two. Have one. So this is the. Um, and this is pastels and birdhouses. 60 birdhouse degrees sunshine. sunshine. Okay, then. Three, this is Bonnie and Camille fabrics with some matching backing. This one had a Aww. gray grunge backing. Somebody's going to be so lucky to get all four of these because they all each have a unique personality. And I love this, this one. This one was one of my favorites. But you know, we just, I only got so many tables. I know, there's no room but for more. This is, there? is darling. So this also is made with Bonnie and Camille fabrics. Very cute. And the strawberry matching backing to go with it. So one bid gets all four of these. And that was a nice long runner. So you have lots it of is. options. It could even go on the end of a bed or so the back of a cute. sofa. Yeah, it could. Good. It's really cute. Or a um, dining buffet. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. So I think that's it for now. I think, I think we're going to be back next week. Don't know why not. I think we'll be back. Do you see week. me checking my mental calendar? I, I think we're good. I think like we're good that, next like week. Like that helps us at all. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm on a new calendar, so I'm all set. I just don't have it all in, filled in yet. <laughs> so, okay. Well, thank you. Thank you so much um, for joining us today again for the Marsha and Joy Show coming at you live here at Pine Needles, Quilt and Sew in Rochester, Minnesota. Until next time, we'll keep you in stitches. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>